With uh, the anxiety and maybe a little tummy trouble here, we've all been there a time or two. One of your coworkers asks if you want to grab a drink after work. Well, you really don't want to, but now you're in this awkward place, right? So how do you say no nicely without feeling guilty? Etiquette expert Nancy Schnobelin Ims of Polished is here with some tips on how to say no, and of course, say it the polite way. Welcome back to Great Day. Very nice to have you here. Nice to see you again, Matt. You say uh, rule number one is you have to stay true to yourself, to your own convictions. What do you mean when you say that? That's key. Like you were saying, we always, we have too much on our plate as it is, mm -hmm. and we don't want to say no. It makes us feel guilty, or it makes us feel like we're letting somebody down or disappointing them. So if you stay true to yourself, let's say in the beginning of the year, you thought, you know what? I'm going to spend more time with my children. That is my commitment. I've got Tuesday nights bowling and, and maybe Thursday nights I work late at work, so I can't take any more something on. So yeah. if that's what you've committed to, stay true to that. And don't be ashamed to admit that. that I, I think people are very understanding not. when they think it through Actually, they, ad shoes. they admire the honesty. Right. Because again, right. we, we tend, when we say no, we tend to talk really, 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 really fast. Mm -hmm. And then that gives them an opportunity to say, oh, I think you're struggling right. here. Let me reconvince you to say yes. And I think we often feel a pressure to have to answer immediately right there on the spot. And you say it's not impolite to take a little time and, and think about your answer. It, right? That's true. Be thoughtful about it. And really, if you're truly considering it and you're on the fence, say, is it okay if I get back to you? And the kind of the golden rule or the standard uh, time frame is about a day. Because that person, if you can't do it, then let's say they need to get a co-chair for the gala or right. they need to help somebody else on a project at work. You know, you want to give them ample time to fill that. That makes sense. I need to work on that, though, because I know a day, a day, it, is a day goes tight. fast. But yeah. again, being thoughtful about it. And again, sure. if you're l listening to yourself, you're true to yourself, right. you know what the answer is. Finally, and I think we all have at least one of these people in our lives, there's a lot of people who just won't take no for an answer, or it seems that way. Anyway, yeah. Right, it's that yeah. bully, right? right. We, I'm going to convince them or, or make them feel really bad that they're going to say yes. Mm -hmm. Again, stick to your convictions. Look, you could say, I, need to, I keep my promises, and this year I'm working really hard to spend more time with the family. I know you would do the same if that was a commitment that you've made. And people get that, right? Yeah, they get good. that. Mm -hmm. And you could say, you know, always being polite. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank yeah. you for considering me and asking me for this. Check back again. I, right. I, I want to be able to think of me next yeah. time. Yeah, there you go. See, it sounds so easy when difficult. she says it. Thank you, Nancy, very <laughs> of course. much. Of course. We're going to post this segment along with a link to Nancy's website on our website, kmov.com slash great day. Kent? Good stuff. Very good. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Very, much appreciate. very polite. <laughs> I know. Good.